Well, I was a student here at Eugene Field School, and I remember Mr. Milne coming into the classroom for visits, and uh, it didn't seem to be any big thing with the teachers or students. Uh, he, he was just uh, a common kind of guy, uh, although we knew he was superintendent. I, I knew, of course, Grandpa. I didn't know Superintendent Milne. Um, from what I know of him, loved children. I mean, of course, from my perspective as his granddaughter, what I remember about him is um, he would uh, come visit um, the classrooms that we were in. I was in first grade at Bandelier Elementary School, and my grandfather dropped in to see us. Uh, and he dropped in again when I was in second grade at Bandelier Elementary School. So he was, uh, I always thought it was because he wanted to see me. I think since um, having grown up, I understand he did that all over the uh, city. He would drop in. He was a sort of hands-on superintendent. Just before graduation from, from UNM, I, I got a letter from, uh, from Mr. Milne. Uh, uh, it says we're glad to offer you a position for the year uh, starting September 1st, 1955 in the commercial department of Valley High School. I introduced a resolution to name the board member the Milne Room because he was superintendent for what, 45 years. And really had a vision of Albuquerque and Albuquerque Public Schools that was incredible. My grandfather was always looking for ways to to do more for the schools. He was involved, and this is sort of, you know, it's, it's a double-edged sword. He was involved in developing the formula that is used for funding education to public schools across the state. It's been modified, but he was, he was one of the first people that said, you've got to create a method. You can't just rely on legislatures. Uh, Mr. Milne was, was very foresighted in Albuquerque's growth. Uh, between 40, uh, 1940 and 1950, I think the population tripled and there were all of these subdivisions being built out on what we call the East Mesa. And, and when that subdivision needed a new school, there was land there already for school with, with Mr. Milne's foresightedness. He was very much involved in making sure that he was part of the larger community and that the schools were always interacting in a positive way with the larger community. And so he, he didn't focus solely on the schools, he, had, he focused on the schools as a part of the larger community of the city of Albuquerque and the state of New Mexico.